Hi, this is Pete, and uh, welcome to the fourth video of the series. 31 or so is what I'm going to make to promote the album Silhouette, that's the song performed by her friends. Today's video is about Danny McGee's performance of Daphne's song Angelino, um, which is a Daphne's album, Charlie's Lonely Sunday. This one is the last song on the album, track 13. I'm filming here in Westwood, Los Angeles, outside where Daphne used to live when I first came to Los Angeles. Uh, this place here on Manning Avenue in Westwood. It's over the road from the, uh, the Mormon Temple. And Daphne lived here when I arrived, and I used to walk her home in the evenings many times in the first few months when we were dating, courting, and we'd go out for dinner or walk home from the lab. We'd walk down here from Westwood, which is back up that way, back from the UCLA, Westwood Villages. This site is also symbolic of where Jack and I first held hands as we walked home, or we first kissed, probably very close to the spot. Probably about a month or so into our courting phase. I'm not a fast mover. I lived in West LA over that way um, the first year when I was here, so uh, there was a lot of back and forth for both of us. Uh, eventually, that kind of moved in, spent most of her time with me over there. This place was kind of vacant, and then we got our own place together that we stayed in for, for probably 15 or so years living together in our place in West LA. The song we're going to hear, see the recording of today, Angelino. Um, it's a song that Daphne, I remember she played it a lot at the time when she first wrote it and recorded it, but it isn't one that she played very much uh, thereafter. Um, I'm very happy that Danny picked it out because it's a, it's a really beautiful song and kind of an overlooked one, I think, coming at the end of the album and one that she didn't really play all that often uh, since the album came out. Danny's performances, it's, um, it's a lot of fun. I think it's, it's, it has the, the uh, instrumentation to be played on. I can't even remember the names of the, of the instruments, but um, kind of like a guitar and a kind of a cheesy, the, uh, cheesy synth with a built-in drum machine. Uh, it just gives this, this song a very quirky feeling and it sounds like nothing else on the record. It was actually a blessing for me when I came to picking the order of the songs because it kind of fit in everywhere. It just it was a, a little jolt when you suddenly you hear the, uh, the the rhythm, the drum machine rhythm come in and kind of jolts and I thought it felt it came very well after Edward's song because it was such a this song was such a gentle kind of folky country acoustic exactly guitar ballad and then you have this kind of, oh what is this, very cheesy 70s sounding keyboard sounds and I thought that was a, a nice juxtaposition. This song could have fit anywhere on the album in that respect but I just felt it, 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 it sounded so good after coming after Edwards and it sounded so good coming after coming before the, the next song which is uh, Rick Shea's song which we'll hear about soon. Um, Danny is someone that Daphne and I saw playing with Randy Weeks at the cinema bar many, many, many times. Um, we used to go see Randy Weeks, who played every second week at the cinema bar for I don't know how many years, but we saw them play for probably a hundred times, I'm guessing, over the years. And um, Danny was not always a regular in the band, but it was always nice to see him and hear him play, and he had a nice... Um, sensibility of playing the keyboards and uh, he would get to sing a song or two occasionally and I always liked his singing voice as well which I felt was a little bit underused so I'm very happy he 
chose to play a song on, and sing a song on the record. Um, he did this one at the tribute show too. Uh, on this song, he's accompanied by Chris Lawrence on, I think, 12-string guitar and a 6-string electric, as well as Sarah Creamer plays some trumpet. I'm not sure if there's anyone else on this record. I apologise if there's anyone else. It was the, maybe the first song we recorded in the project. I think it might be the very first song that we recorded. It was either his or Sarah Creamer's. I don't know. He plays on Sarah's song and Sarah plays on his song, so I'm a little... My memory's a little uh, fuzzy. Um, and it was, just, it was just such a positive recording session. We recorded it at Alfonso's home in Malibu. And uh, it was just... Uh, it was just wonderful. Um, I got a lot of footage. Being the very first recording session, I got a lot of footage of various... Uh, takes and uh, setting up and dialogue. So, hopefully, you enjoy this video. Um, I shall see you in the next video. I made these uh, aluminum brackets on the end here too, cut, cut them out of our aircraft aluminum and take weld them. Well, I didn't do the actual welding. <laughs> I'm not a welder yet. He, he did a good job, man. Eh? Oh, I believe I met Daphne. Well, no, it was at the cinema bar, and uh, I was playing with Randy Weeks and uh, Ramsey Midwood and that uh, that group, um, and she was all, like uh, often at those gigs. And I like that was what well, for me playing with Randy, Randy and Ramsey was so much fun. Uh, and I think God, we did that for eight, nine years every other Saturday down there. And it, yeah, when when Randy moved to Austin, I was devastated. Kind of, I was like, oh, what am I gonna do for fun and, and musical kicks, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I. Yeah, I just remember Daphne being there, and it was always uh, a fun scene. Yeah. Or, or, or give me another pass at it. I, I think it might be. Yeah, because just because. That. I mean, I can't fix you this if you, you, mm. you tell me how to. Yeah. I mean, what was the problem? With that it was too short, or it I was think too I long? I, I, I was I was focusing on the ring modulator, and then I came in late on the the chord change. Can I do it again? Do you want to do it again? I think so. Hmm. Okay. Like I know it's tedious, but. All right. Mm. It was, she was so like like the, the finger style stuff that she would do was ri ridiculous and I, I've you know I, I gave up guitar a long time ago to play keyboards um, just because I thought there's a lot of guitar players who, who do much better than I do and you know then I started getting work as a keyboard player um, but I still plunk around on it and your finger style guitar is one of my favorite things and, and uh, she was so adept at it, like, um, and it, you know, it's easy. It's it's more difficult than it looks. You know, like like to be effortless like that and just have a, a natural rhythm and ability, where it's like something I've worked on for 20 years and I still am clumsy and uh, awful at it. You know, it, you know, I can get through, but it's not <laughs> not like Daffy. And and then, uh, God, you know, her her records and everything it's like she was so good at putting songs together and I, I know that's the voice of God. Yeah.
floating away in my mind. Safe in California, I've left my fears behind. Messages calling me home. I throw them all in the sea. It's quiet here on the shore. I'm as happy as can be. Good. The structure is good? Yeah. I was, I, I yeah, was clumsy. Was and it sounded great. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, and lovely. I had some moments where I was just falling over the... Fun. So you feel like doing one take with more yeah. remodulation, listening to this one? Sure. It was pretty good synchronized. I was pretty amazed that the fucking both machines were like so. Mm -hmm. Eh? No, it's a drift. You know what we can do? We can we can use both. Yeah. Because if not, that one is too much. All the time. Yeah. Even if you can even <laughs> use the first one by cutting and pasting it to match the structure. Yeah. Right on, man. Yes. Woo oh, that sounds That's so fantastic. great. Yeah. That vocals. Just, uh, Why do I? Well, I kind of do. Because there's parts where I, I feel it's really no, clumsy. No, no. It tears me up. I know. It's really good. You want to listen to it again? Yeah. Well, or I can listen to it as yeah, Chris does his thing. It's very good. It's very good. It's so sweet. Yeah, it's so sweet. It really hits the heart. I throw them all in the sea. It's quiet here on the shore. I'm as happy as can be. I'm exactly. Where I want to be Do you like it? Are you happy with yeah, yeah. it? I think so. If, if, if now we can track another take, eh? I, I, I think it's want. okay, yeah. Good? That's a major, right? You're yeah. A major. It sounds weird. It's major, but there's yeah, there's it's, like an E flat yeah, in there. Yeah, there's something. As can be. But I Yeah, it's very psychedelic. I love it. Yeah, yeah that would be 70s. Oh, 60s. 60s. But it was like, that's exactly the same. 65, 66, right mm -hmm. in there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, pretty. A gift from Fender. I'm a little lucky. I like that color. It called, it called Sonic Blue. It was yeah. a first they gave it to as a gift? Yeah. Because they said, you sound so you great, you we a... want you to have <laughs> <laughs> Does it work in the song? Yeah. That was fun. Sure. Yeah, it sounds great. You want to do another pass? Just yes, please. It may, there's like, there's like a little... Uh, miss, miss pick on, yeah, the, on, yeah, on yeah. the twelve string. Maybe you came in on the on the a little before. Mm -hmm. like if you could play from where it came in. Mm -hmm. 
It sounds quite spectacular. All right, I think that one worked. That's yeah, a beautiful that one. Yeah, it feels really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I guess my job is done. Gorgeous. <laughs> what do you think, Ben? I think, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's great. Well, I did, uh, I did pick Angelino specifically because I thought it's it applied to, to her in the... Well, it's, you know, it's definitely a pro, uh, confessional, uh, personal song about moving to a different place and stuff and becoming a part of the place and she actually is that and did and there's no there's no going back you know from that um and i thought it was personally to me that seemed to be about her and i i like the song and that's why i chose to do it and the song she just played do you have another song for us and I do. I have it. a brand new one. Oh, so this won't be on the album. That hasn't been recorded. And, um, I love that when we did brand it, new I one. guess technically it's the first time it's been on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> a lot of firsts going on here. So tell us a little something about it. And it's a song about living in Los Angeles and just feeling at home there. And Really? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I've lived there for about nine years. And... I just feel very at home there. Don't ask me why, but. Alrighty, what I, do you call this tune? Uh, Angelino? Angelino by Daphne. I feel like I'm floating away. Floating away in my mind. Safe here in California I've left my fears behind You're tuned to Public Radio KCBX and you're listening to Daphne. Thank you. That's a great tune. Thank you. That's really good. Thank in you. In praise of Los Angeles. <laughs> 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 I like it. I'm sorry, but it's a bit ironic, but I like it. <laughs> well, my um, accordion player plays a really cool solo or the instrumental bit, so All people right. need to come out and hear that. All right. <laughs>
sailing away Sailing away in my mind Safe here in California I've left my fears behind So I'm running into the sun As I tremble by the sea I am an Angelino I'm exactly where I want to be On the uh, the guitar, um, probably I don't know if I had a manager, he would be against it. Um, you know, they're not the uh, the hippest thing. I, although I guess it's coming around again. Probably either everyone will be wearing bell bottoms and playing those with headbands and stuff um, soon. I, I'm just riding the crest of that wave. Uh, and and Chris Lawrence, who's one of my favorite guitarists, and uh, is a little bit of a, a nut uh, as well, you know, <laughs> as, as as we all are. Um, uh, playing his, his six string bass and 12 string on it. Uh, it I think it came out good. I, so far I'm, I'm very happy and Sarah playing trumpet. And it's wonderful, I had a really nice day, the perfect weather and. Okay. So I'll, I'll signal when there's the, when there, one, ahead. two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Like, do you want it in the spaces of the vocal, or like a harmony, or like a harmony? I think like a harmony, like, uh... It's just like you're wanting less note, like more space. Yeah. Just a little color. I was thinking of, this is very odd. Um, I was thinking, I was at, at, at your house and, and, uh, and Daphne and I were in the kitchen and, and we started talking about paper towels. We had this big long conversation about our love for paper towels because I'm, you know, I'm a fan and, uh, and she is as, as, as well. And like I, I, um, I told her that I, my, my habit was so bad that I would, I would like take paper towels and I like, I, you know, we, I, there's the, the ones that are like what, 10 inch by 10 inch. And then there's the ones that are like 
it was six by six and by you know ten and the, I, and I liked the, those and, and she did as well but I I, I, uh, I told her like I would tear the six by tens in half so then I would have like two six by fives and it was like doubling even more paper towels than um, than, a, than a person should have so I, was, I feel I feel extra blessed by the paper towel I don't know. <laughs> That's really stupid. <laughs> I think Daphne would approve, though. <laughs> yeah, no, because more stupid. I, the more stupid. Because I was, I was better. just thinking about that the other day. Because I, I was like, you know, that was one of the more in-depth conversations I ever had with her. <laughs> it was about paper towels, which, yeah. Okay, but I think we're done. Really. Cle yeah, cleaning yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs>
I want to be. 